everybody, I'm Shane. I'm Lenara. And we are the Royal, Royal Variety. Variety. Bringing our opinion over Christmas. Because we have opinions. And we have them about Christmas. My candy cane broke. Well, I was planning to end the episode with a candy cane battle, and for whoever, whoever's candy cane broke first lost, but I guess you already lost. I can't think of the word. I, I was sabotaged. <laughs> I was going to say subordination, but I knew that wasn't the word. <laughs> Anyways, so our opinions on this wonderful, wonderful time of the year. First opinion, people try to start it way too freaking early, okay. I love Christmas, like, really love Christmas, but it, let's get in the Christmas spirit, December 1st, or at not least, before Halloween. Or at least Black Friday. No. If you must start it absolutely early. No, after Black Friday. After Black Friday is okay. Before it is not okay. You're the worst kind of person. Especially store owners. Although it is nice going shopping in the stores and smelling cinnamon everywhere. That's my other favorite thing about the holidays. And I do enjoy the Christmas carols because they're always playing songs that I know the lyrics to. Everybody knows the lyrics to them. That's the point. A five-year-old knows the lyrics to them. Yes, that is the point. And so, we like the spirit of Christmas, you know, giving. Oh, I, I do. I love giving. Like, it's sad this year because... Bills and I have been so hard on me. I have three Christmas presents under my tree. Well, you're going to have more because I'm going to send a couple home with you, so. Those are for me, though. But I have two for my sister and one for my mom. Well, I think one of the most important parts of the spirit of giving is to be giving what you can to the needy. Even if it's just pocket change, it's better than nothing. It's good to give to charities this time of year. Oh, yeah. Of course, make sure you're giving to a good charity, not one of those sham charities where it's actually going in some CEO's pocket. Oh, yeah. Be careful who you give to. Or go look, you know, look it up. Look, find a website where it lists. Research the, the charities. There you go. Do that. And I, I love charities because we all... As you know, I've hit rock bottom several times. I know what it's like to be needy. So I like to give to another to maybe help them a little bit. You know, it sucks. But stuff like that goes a long way. And the great thing about giving money to charities, like say if you're giving money to a food pantry, because they buy in such huge amounts, they can get a ton of food. For, ju for just a few dollars. And they can do a lot more as a charity than one person could on their own with about the same amount of money. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's good to give someone a gift even when they don't expect it. Back to the gift giving part of Christmas. Yes, a much celebrated and beloved pr tradition, especially in America. <laughs> we all love presents. I love giving them because I love making people smile. It's like, ugh. I love making people happy. It's like, it's my thing. If there's anything more fantastic than getting an awesome present, it's giving someone else an awesome present and watching their face light up. Mm -hmm. Of course, the best thing ever is to do both, but that's not always feasible. You're greedy. You just want presents. <laughs> I am not. I'm a reindeer, I deliver presents, see? Santa delivers presents? You pull the sleigh. Yeah, but he, his fat ass wouldn't get there without me. Shots fired. Just kidding, Santa, I love you. We were gonna record with Santa hats, but that didn't happen. So we ended up with reindeer headbands. It's the best I could do. Mine's itchy. Uh, another thing, all the Christmas lights. Oh my god, driving at night around the holiday season is amazing. Mm-hmm. Also, as we should have pointed out at the beginning of this video, if you don't celebrate Christmas, we're sorry. We do. You can, you can either ignore the video or take, take this right now from us to you. Have a great day.
And besides, we wouldn't want to try to touch on other winter holidays that we do not understand because that might be offensive. Exactly. We're not doing Kwanzaa or Hanukkah because we have no idea. And we, we wouldn't want to offend what, you guys. Whatever so. you celebrate, have a happy whatever. Merry whatever. Merry happy whatever. Just whatever you do, enjoy it. Oh yes, do enjoy it. Because this is the time of year where, where, you there are so many, where there are so many different holidays that everybody is celebrating something. Unless you're an atheist, in which case, have a nice day. You can still have a wonderful day. Oh. And another thing, another thing about Christmas, peppermint everything. And uh, yeah, around Halloween, it's pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. Winter, it's peppermint. Or Christmas. Sometimes white chocolate. White chocolate with peppermint. Oh yeah, all of the Christmas treats. There's so many different Christmas treats. Who here likes fruitcake? Don't look at me. I feel like I can hear the crickets already. Actually, I've never tried it. I would love to try it. Just see what all the hubbub is. I've never tried it. I have tried it once. It is very... It's a strange kind of thing, because it's sort of like spice cake, and then there's like raisins and nuts, dried fruits and that kind of stuff in it. I didn't like it, but I guess I could see how other people could like it. I'm going to try it, so I can't say. Show fans who here likes eggnog. I like it. Eggnog with vodka in it. I haven't tried that, so. I've not tried alcoholic eggnog. I have tried regular eggnog. As soon as it touched my mouth, I about threw up. I do not like it. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> That's not my thing. But only when it's very cold. Do not let it get even slightly warm. Ugh. Make me gag. <laughs> this viscous, eggy drink going down your throat. <sighs> so, um, Christmas traditions. One of my personal wrapping presents, and I love wrapping presents. I was doing that today. I, I handmade my own bow, and it looks amazing. <laughs> I spent like thirty minutes on it, and my sister's gonna unwrap her present, and it's gonna be destroyed in less than five. <laughs> Well, one of my own personal Christmas traditions, a lot of people have certain movies they like to watch this time of year, and I do that too, but one of my personal Christmas traditions is to read Charles Dickens' The Christmas Carol every year, although I very seldom actually make it to the end before Christmas. <laughs> but I have read the whole book through. And on a tangent, why is it that whenever anyone calls anyone a Scrooge, they're calling them greedy? Scrooge learned his lesson at the end. There you go. And it says at the end of the book that he became better than his word and was very generous. It's good to be generous, especially around this time of year. So I guess if you go, if you want to be a Scrooge, be a post-ghost Scrooge. Post-ghost. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm humming Undertale music. And we personally definitely take part in the, uh, the celebration of Christmas together. I mean, I guess you could say right now this is sort of a part of us celebrating Christmas together. True, and we're celebrating it with all of you. As a kind of celebration, you know, thanks for subscribing to us and our random crap. We hope you enjoy our random crap. And today's random Christmas crap day. Woo! Christmas. Christmas. Feliz Navidad. They do something called Navidad. With some chick named Phyllis. Okay, I thought that about, was just on. I thought about playing Christmas music in the background, but that probably would have just been real distracting. And copyright. I don't know which one's copyright. Well, not if we picked a public domain one. YouTube can't copyright you on public domain stuff. At least I don't think so. I don't they know probably figured out a way, but YouTube's <laughs> copyright system aside, I'm not going on that tangent. 
Uh, what? Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Exactly. That's why I went back to Christmas. She gets off topic easy. So, do you think the spirit of Christmas has kind of been lost since so many people seem to make it like a prosperity deal? Whatever the word is I'm looking for. Well, I think that depends on the individual. Some people have lost it and others have not. I mean, I mean we have last, it. Over the last couple of years, honestly, I did have, I think it was shortly after I moved here, we, I had, I had lost the Christmas spirit for a couple of years, and it just didn't seem the same to me, as my anxiety was getting me down, and I just couldn't feel the same. But, you've been with me through all of that, and as I've gotten better, I've remembered and felt the joy again getting a little personal, but yeah, I've finally gotten my Christmas spirit back. I mean, a couple of years ago, I never would have done something like this. I would have felt like it was silly and cheesy. Well, actually, it, it is silly and cheesy, but it's awesome. And the fact that we can do it, and just, just be yourself. Be yourself this holiday season. You know, whatever you celebrate, don't be like that, though. <laughs> Be yourself unless you're like that. You've done sillier stuff than this. Oh yeah, uh, and I even recorded it. Me and my sister celebrated Christmas today. We baked cookies, that's another thing. Oh yes, the sweets. And while we were doing the cookies, uh, we decided we were going to dance to the song Jump On It with my sister sitting on my shoulders. Ow. I was sitting... If my sister weighs as much as me, I'm about 180 pounds. I don't know, she's probably a little less by now, but she's not light. That's why my neck is a little stiff right now. Neither is she. Trust well, me. I just said I'm 180 pounds. You weigh less than me. You are muscle, though. <laughs> okay. Put my leg in your brace thing down here. Having fun with your kids? No, I'm not. It keeps jumping out of my hand. Would you like to just eat it? No, I'm done eating it. This is why nobody gets me candy canes. If you get me a candy cane to eat, it has to be a fruit one. Otherwise, I'll, I'll eat it, I'll eat it, and then I'm done. I haven't even opened mine. Well, mine kind of broke open. Let's see, baking cookies, singing Christmas carols. Ooh, say that five times fast. <laughs> Christmas carols, Christmas carols, Christmas carols, Christmas carols, Christmas carols. Let's see, what's another Christmas tradition? Dressing up with Santa Claus and walking around the nursing home I work in. Making another Tim Allen movie? <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, so we talked about giving, making cookies. One thing my family has always done, ever since we were little, going back to presents, on Christmas Eve, you got to open one present. That's what you got. You got to open one, and then, that, you know, Chris save the, all the rest of the gift unwrapping for the 25th, the actual Christmas day. It's, it's like that, uh, that movie thing, Choose Wisely. That's uh, my... Ever since growing up, growing up, me and my sister just, we wouldn't actually, even when we were little kids, we would not get that excited over Christmas presents. I mean, we were excited to open them on the day, but my mom and dad are like, you're going to be so excited over this present we got you, we just can't wait for you to open it. And me and my sister are like, okay. It's like, chill. It's coming. Like, our roles were reversed. My mom and dad are what the kids should have been, and we were like what the adults were like. Because it's like, they kept trying to get us amped up and ready, but we're like, it's, we're going to get it anyway, I, you know. I used to try to do that to her when I had a present, but after, like, a year or two, I figured out that doesn't work. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's cool. And it didn't even have to be a Christmas present. I could just, I get her presents at random points in time just because I feel like it. Uh, it just, I, 
if I don't know what it is, I'm like, well, I can't get excited if I don't know what it is. So it's either spoil the surprise or don't bother trying to get her amped up. Yes. Damn, too, can't have too much silence, you can't edit it out. Um, I don't know, see. there's not much else we really do on Christmas. We're, uh, what we're about too, the decorating? Decorating can be I such a chore. I love decorating. It's, it's not a chore for me. Even though I didn't have the time, so I just set up my Christmas tree, put some tinsel garland around it, two different strands, and put the ornaments on, some ornaments on. All of my Christmas stuff is scattered around. I can't find any. I couldn't find any Christmas lights, and now that it's almost Christmas, I'm like, oh well. My tree's not going to have any lights on it this year. The reason it can be a chore for me is because I set things up the way I like them, and then I just leave it that way. And then Mom and Dad every year, well, Mom will, Dad doesn't really care. Mom tries to, she tries to set it up different ways. Like, do you think this should go over here, over here? I'm like, Mom, I don't care, just set it up. It doesn't matter where exactly it is. Of course it does. You have to make everything aesthetically pleasing. My, what's your favorite Christmas decoration? Lights. My they favorite? have these ones that are like little tubes, kind of like icicles, and there's lights in them, and then the blue light runs all the way down to the bottom. I love those. They're so pretty. I, I love, love those some. too. But my personal favorite decoration in the house are the is this little. I put that garland. in the house. Is this little garland of plastic silvery snowflakes? I've seen that in your living room. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, but the people out there don't. So it's this garland of silver plastic snowflakes that we hang over the entertainment center, and then this particular year we've strung stockings on it. Guarantee you that's coming down when the little kids come over. Oh, yeah. Somebody's going to grab that garland and knock it over. Other than that, my favorite is tinsel. Always tinsel. For lights and tinsel is my favorite. I'm kind of a glitzy, sparkly kind of person, so. So am I. I think we've about gotten this mm -hmm. wrapped up. You got an opinion on Christmas? What? What's your Christmas? Do you celebrate Christmas? You know? What's some of your, uh... Family traditions? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. What's some of your traditions? What's your opinion in the comment below? We'll read it. We might reply. And if you have any interesting Christmas stories, especially if they involve something funny, let us know. Yeah, always. And on this note, I think we should sing We Wish You Merry Christmas. Sweet. End it, end it with a song. I think I'm probably going to mess up the lyrics to that one. Do you want to do a different... I don't know which Christmas songs are public domain. So, we'll sing it We Wish You Merry Christmas. Ready? All right, I guess. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Glad tidings we bring to you and your kin. The tidings of Christmas and a Happy New Year. That's all you're getting. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thanks for your support. We're smashing in another year. As always, I'm Shade. I'm Lenara. And We're we the, are royal the Royal Variety. I have no idea what she just said. Goodbye.